Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna talk about 90s toys, the best era of all. I hope everyone's been good. Uh, thank you so much for watching my previous video about my new finds, the Jar Jar and Cara Dune and the X-Files figures. How cool is that? Okay, so in this video I'm gonna talk about one of the best era after the 80s, the 90s. So we're gonna talk about everything 90s toys really, what made my childhood. When I was preparing for this video I was like, okay, I want to get all the 90s toys together, uh, what I had as a kid. Then I realized that was I was actually really lucky as a kid because I had so many toys. It's just impossible to put it all into one like 15 minutes short video. Um, so what we know about 90s, 90s was one of the best era for toys. There were so many good movies and cartoons and it's just i think all the toy companies had so much pressure to come out with the toys boys had so many amazing toys in the 90s uh, teenage ninja turtles jurassic park power rangers street sharks oh my god so many it's really just hard to list them it was a little bit different for girls uh, from the early like 70s 80s uh, I know we had like Barbie, My Little Pony, but in this video I want to talk about those toys, what I had. So when I was a kid, many of you know I grown up in Hungary. Um, I was born in the 80s, I grown up in the 90s, but of course 90s in Hungary was amazing because it was just after the communism so they let more and more Western toys and cartoons in to the country and it's just everything changed completely so growing up in the 90s in Hungary was actually amazing of course we got everything a couple of years later than anyone else but still oh my god I remember like waking up uh, on a Saturday morning and Disney afternoon was on uh, and of course you know I'm not gonna talk about my Disney collection here but um, I'm a huge fan of Tailspin and I'm gonna do a video just about my uh, Disney afternoon collection as well uh, but that's another time I was really lucky as a kid because my parents were amazing and they got me so many toys one thing I want to start with it was really popular this one actually come out in the late 90s uh, 98 uh, by Tiger Electronics and later Hasbro took over is Furby! I would like to say thank you uh, to Danesta. Uh, he's on YouTube as well. He does amazing uh, retro gaming videos on YouTube. And he got me this, he sent me this Furby because he knows I um, love Furbies. Ah, it's so cute. Um, this one is Tiger Electronics Furby before Hasbro took over. Um, this one is the original 98. Uh, I don't think you can see the tag there. Uh, what we know about Furbies. Um, so Furbies are a little like hamster owl-like creatures, interactive creatures. You could do so much with them. Uh, I was really unlucky as a kid because my one just wanted to sleep all the time. Uh, it doesn't matter what I did, I wanted to listen to music with it, I was feeding it, I was uh, telling him to tell me a joke, it, it Furbies does so much, especially now. Uh, but anyway, so my one just wanted to sleep all the time. Um, I remember when I got Furby, I told my mom, uh, it, 
it was released just before Christmas, I remember in 98 and oh my god everyone was going crazy for it. Um, I told my mom I really want a fur before Christmas and my mom was so nice because even though our car, I still remember our car was in a garage uh, for servicing and she took the bus to go to the shop and get one for me. Um, but on the way home she wanted to turn it on just to check if it's working or not and she couldn't turn it on so she went back to the shop and she asked the sales advisor like how you actually turn it on and they said it's one of the best thing to do is basically take it out from the packaging and throw it onto a table or a wall because it just turns on and apparently that was a really big thing uh, because so many people couldn't turn their Furby on you just had to do that and it's just still ridiculous but anyway the Furby turned on and my mom told me on the way back home on the bus it was basically just talking and talking I don't know why I just find this story really funny um, so I love my little Furby this is not mine I got this from uh, Dana uh, but it's so cute I I'm gonna try to wake him up so we'll see hopefully we are lucky and he doesn't want to go back to sleep straight away so um, you had to turn Furbies to their side to wake them up. No, no, don't go back to sleep. <laughs> okay, so this. No. Yeah, no. Okay, so this Furby is a little bit old now, so he can't close his eyes properly but it's so cute I know you could do so much with them uh, I think he just oh freaky <laughs> um, I know this one actually tried it before on my Instagram video if you remember um, he's, he's just want to sleep all the time I know what I should do I got fresh batteries in there I reset him already but um, what you have to do with Furbies they gonna sleep all the time if you don't look after them so you have to feed them you have to play with them all the time uh, if not they just gonna sleep for a month and just randomly wake up um, but yeah of course when you feed them you just had to open their mouth oh eyes popped up <laughs> so you had to open their mouth and hold down the tongue um, I tried to wake him up just once more and we'll see if he's gonna get up up the other side. One second. Oh. No, no, no. Hello. No, 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 no. <sighs> oh well. So you finished? <laughs> okay, Furby. Just go back to sleep. <laughs> Anyway, Furbies are amazing, it's so cute. I still can't decide if it's more like an owl or more like, it, it reminds me to gizmos as well. Like, where is my gizmo? You can see a little like resemblance to. Uh, anyway, okay, so the next thing what I had as a kid was really popular. I remember, I think I was around six years old or seven years old I know so many of you will remember I know what you can see now is basically just cupcakes but it's actually a doll so if you don't remember uh, they were really popular um, Tonka uh, started making it then Kenner took over in uh, 91 I think 
yeah, 91, uh, they started making it. And I think Kenna took over at 92. But anyway, cupcake dolls. Cupcake dolls are amazing. Cupcake, parfait, um, tropical. These are the tropical edition. Um, cupcake looking uh, dolls. Uh, and why it was so popular is basically you had to unfold them to get the doll out so the dolls are actually in there as you can see it uh, but anyway and the other thing why it was so popular is because they actually smell like cupcakes they smell amazing anyway so I got this on eBay cupcakes dolls goes for a lot of money uh, at the moment I don't know it's just it's just so popular especially if they still have the scent uh, out of these three these two still have a really strong cupcake smell what is crazy because it's been more than 30 years so just to have that scent like it is amazing but as you can see like they have like a little like scent capsule beard in here and the smell comes out there it's so cool uh, it's exactly the same with this you get the capsule in in here and the smell comes out there okay so I'm gonna do a little magic trick and reveal the dolls so magic okay so look at them they are so pretty like I think that's why it was so popular as well because they just look so pretty I know they still making cupcake dolls but it's just I'm sorry it's not the same so look at them they have like such a pretty face like I love that and um, so when you transform them it's actually the top of the cupcake is in this case in that two on the side they are the tropical version so um it's a flower instead of cupcake well yeah it comes with a beautiful like little it's like a handbag but you could use this to comb their hair but it's just oh my god it's so cute oh i love it and it's like okay i, I know this is gonna be weird but it's just smells like cupcake it's amazing they are really pretty so these were the tropical edition uh, this was released a year later than the parfait one I remember the parfait one is the cutest one that's what I had uh, when I was young and everyone was collecting the cupcake dolls uh, those people who had the parfait version with the little stand as you could see earlier they were the, like basically the cool people because they are the prettiest ones and even the hat with that little like whipped cream and sprinkles on the top and everything it's just it's just so pretty so these are the cupcake dolls I hope you like it I hope it just brings back memories uh, I think all the girls who's watching now I'm sure like all of you had cupcake doll at one point or guys if you're watching I'm sure your sisters had at least one cupcake doll when they were young so yeah cupcake dolls amazing oh, it just is such a strong smell it's so cool I love it I'm trying I know it's a little bit weird I'm just smelling dolls here but it's just if you had a cupcake doll you remember that smell you just remember it just burned into your brain um, yeah cupcake dolls okay let's move to the next one the next piece what was the most popular uh, doll in the 90s is Barbies okay so of course Barbie is been around for 60 years now so it's uh, she's actually very 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 old now but it's not that um, 
I wanted to talk about Barbies because I think Barbies was booming in the 90s. Uh, there were so many amazing accessories to Barbies. Uh, there were so many like different type just was released. I was really lucky uh, when I was a kid because one of our family friend's daughter, uh, wow, she become a teenager and she doesn't want it to play with Barbies anymore. So basically our family friend gave her Barbie collection to me. So it was like crazy. There was like Barbie house even come with an elevator. A Barbie house with an elevator. You can imagine like it was like a, um, a stables uh, attached to it and the office and just everything. It was crazy. I had so many Barbies. I even had those Barbies where, um, uh, of course, the pregnant Barbies. Oh my God girls if you remember it was so freaky because she had the baby in her belly and you had to turn the belly out inside out and there was the baby and you could take it oh it's just oh freaky mommy's secret surprise the sweetest newborns anywhere a baby girl and boy to share mommy's secret surprise nothing is more wonderful than being a mother anyway um and so many candles. Uh, one of the can doll was my favorite is the shaving can doll. Um, it actually had a stubble and you put the can doll like under like warm water. I think the stubble come out. Then when you use this little like shaving um, sponge or something on his face, the stubble disappears. Shave and fun Ken doll has real hair. Beard disappears with warm water. Barbie doll, dog and towel not included. <laughs> Amazing, but we're not talking about that. Um, now I'm going to talk about this Barbie. Uh, I couldn't get any of my childhood Barbies uh, in this video because they are back in Hungary in the loft, uh, all boxed up and everything. Um, so this one I found on eBay uh, a few weeks back. That's why I said when I do a video, there is a couple of things I'm still waiting for. That was one of that. Um, I actually got a really good price for it. But this Barbie was released in uh, Disneyland, in Disney World, uh, for the 25th anniversary of Barbie. Basically, the 25th birthday of Barbie. I'm a huge uh, Disneyland fan and that's the reason why I wanted to get her. She's so pretty. The box is amazing. It's really nice. Uh, it's open already so I'm gonna open it and let's see. She comes with a few accessories. Oh my god look at that. She is just so pretty. Um, she comes with uh, Mickey Mouse balloon. She comes with a nice 25th anniversary backpack and of course the trademark Mickey ears uh, and also a little like brush to brush her hair. She is a really good quality. I love her dress. I love that 25th anniversary jacket. She's just so pretty. I'm so glad I found her on eBay. So this Barbie was released in 96, was made by Mattel. Mattel made all the Barbie dolls. Uh, I don't know who's making, is it still Mattel? It's probably still Mattel makes uh, all the Barbie dolls. But anyway, they made like amazing ones. I really like her. She is just so pretty and so stylish. I love it, it's amazing. Okay, 
there is so many other things as well what I could mention like Jurassic Park, uh, Disney Afternoon Toys, um, like I said, uh, Ninja Turtles, uh, all the uh, comics figures like Godzilla, one of my favorite is Godzilla Toys. Uh, oh my god, it's just so many I can't even mention. Uh, but in this video I wanted to talk about 90s girls toys and girls dolls uh, what I had as a kid what's the closest to my heart really so I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching if you're a guy it probably wasn't that interesting than when I talk about Star Wars toys uh, but I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much please like and subscribe I think I'm gonna just play with the dolls now it's just so cute so yeah collect away stay safe and see you again soon oh. it does smell like cupcakes it's crazy